Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're back out at the range today doing another velocity comparison test. This time it's going to be in 300 blackout with a 16 inch barrel versus a 10 and a half inch barrel. Everybody says how the 10 and a half inch barrel is like the optimal length for a 300 blackout. They say it's the burn is complete by like nine or 10 inches. Well, we're going to try a 16 inch barrel here and see if we can get a little more velocity out of it. Both these guns are uh, from Palmetto State Armory. They're kits we get off, got off of Palmetto State. They always have some kind of special. We really like them. We'll probably have a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. We also got the, uh, the Sig Romeo 5 Red Dot on this one. This is a 10 and a half inch pistol. And we got one of those uh, UTG Bug Buster 3x9 scopes on this one. You know, we might put links in the description box below for these also. So we're gonna run these over the chronograph today. We have some 125 grain Spear TNT 300 blackout. These are my hand loads. These are running pretty much standard velocity for 300 blackout. So we'll run these over the chronograph, see how it goes. I have the 10 and a half inch 300 blackout. We're gonna do five shots. He's gonna record the velocity and we'll see what we got. Okay, now I got the 16 inch barrel shooting the same ammo. 24, 12. 24, 10. 11. Okay, we'll add these up and we'll see what the difference is. All the velocities right here. We're going to take some averages down and we'll see the results. Okay, so we've added up the averages here. So on the 10 and a half inch barrel, we got 2,199 feet per second. So we'll call that 2,200. And on the 16 inch barrel, it was 2,398. So we'll call that 2,400. So we got exactly 200 feet per second difference on five and a half inches of barrel. So that's 36 feet per second per inch of barrel, which is right in that, you know, 25 to 50 feet per second per inch of barrel, depending on the, uh, the gun you're shooting and the caliber. So we're gonna say, you know, we picked up a couple hundred feet per second. That's, that's worthy. I mean, it's worthy for hunting maybe, but I guess for a, you know, if you want an all around gun, a 10 and a half inch gun is still gonna have enough velocity, 2200 feet per second. That's pretty good from a AR pistol. Nice, collapsible, concealable pistol. Thanks again for watching and following along. We really appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to our channel. And if you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And maybe uh, go over and check out our Facebook page, Steep Country Outdoors, or uh, follow us on Instagram at, at Steep Country Outdoors. And comment below if you want us to continue to make uh, firearms videos where we're comparing velocities and calibers and doing penetration tests. Oh, and also, Click on that notification bell so you get a notification when we get a video. Anyhow, thanks again. We'll see you on the next video.